Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about the post credit scene and ending for Captain America 4. I am very excited for Brave New World, it's going to be Sam Wilson, Captain America's first ever actual movie. I'm excited to see the new suit, I'm excited to see Falcon and the Red Hulk. But I'm not going to lie, the ending and post credit scene has me a little bit worried. Now before we get started, I do want to issue a quick spoiler warning because we will be talking about some stuff that could potentially ruin the movie for some people. So with that being said, you have been warned. Now let's go ahead and dive into the leaks and rumors. So this comes to us from Industry Insider, My Time to Shine Hello, and she is saying that Betty Ross is going to appear in only one scene at the end of Brave New World and then in a post credit scene involving Red Hulk. Now thanks to leaked set photos, we know that one of those scenes is going to be a funeral, which everyone is speculating is going to be President Ross's. And now if that happens, that means that Red Hulk could potentially be dying in this movie and be a one and done villain or he could be faking his death so that he can operate as the Red Hulk and not have people you know always looking for him because he is the president after all he's a very important guy and it's going to be a little bit hard for him to just sneak around as a giant red monster so maybe he fakes his death to operate as the Red Hulk full time but I think with Harrison Ford signing on to this movie I don't think he's going to be in a bunch of different Marvel films I think this honestly might be a one and done villain I posted a theory here on Twitter saying that President Ross might be fighting the heroes on Tiamat Island, which is another big rumor that uh, Adamantium is going to be present on Tiamat, the celestial that died at the end of the Eternals. And we know that Red Hulk emits heat when he gets angry, so he could potentially be melting parts of that metal during the final battle against Sam and Falcon and maybe Hulk. And there has been a lot of rumors that President Ross is going to die in this battle. Maybe he just like overheats and his heart gives out because we know that he had heart problems in the past and then that can lead us right into the funeral scene that we saw set photos of and if the president does actually die at the end of this movie that explains why Betty Ross is seen in the funeral set photos for Captain America 4 she could be there to pay respect to her father but maybe she also wants a bit of revenge which leads into that post credit scene that my time to shine hello was talking about because she did say that Betty Ross is going to be in two scenes which we know one of them is going to be a funeral so so that could be the end of the movie and then the post credit scene is going to be something Red Hulk related. So what if she ends up encountering the leader and ends up becoming Red She-Hulk? She could want revenge for her father's death and go after Captain America and the Avengers or she could just simply be a She-Hulk villain which I really hope that's not the case. I think she needs a larger role than being a potential villain for a season 2 of uh, She-Hulk but I think this does set up Betty for a pretty cool character arc within the MCU. But now on to some of the next negatives I have with this whole theory and leak. I don't want Red Hulk to die. This is one of my favorite Marvel characters of all time. He's actually the character that like really got me into comic books because when I was really really little I went into a bookstore and picked up the second issue of the whole Red Hulk story and I found it fascinating. I loved it. I bought the entire series. I got the, the first appearance of Red Hulk graded and it's in my collection right now. Like I love this character and the Red Hulk story and for him to just simply be a one and done villain within the MCU is an absolute tragedy. And I get it, you know, Harrison Ford's a little bit older, he probably doesn't want to sign on to be in like four or five movies. I get that, and maybe they will continue the Red Hulk character and just do uh, CGI for him, and maybe he doesn't shrink down to President Ross anymore, maybe he's just Red Hulk all the time, and then Harrison Ford can just read the line, send the audio over to Marvel Studios, and that's it. But I'm just really, really hoping that they do not kill him off. I know he has the heart issue and all that, and that there's a funeral in this movie but I'm really really hoping it's not a funeral for him and that he's actually dead like if he's faking his death okay fine that's one thing but if you're actually killing off the character of Thunderbolt Ross that is a very dumb idea and a lot of people are going to be kind of pissed off I thought for sure we would be seeing Red Hulk in the Thunderbolt so they definitely need someone that's not just a regular human sized character and I think having Red Hulk on that lineup would be really cool maybe they need his help in order to take down Sentry or something I just think Red Hulk deserves 
deserves more of a story in the MCU. Not just be in Captain America 4 and then that's it. He definitely needs to fight Mark Ruffalo's Hulk and maybe it leads over to a World War Hulk story, which I think Red Hulk needs to be present for that as well. But yeah, guys, that is what the leaks are saying right now, that Betty Ross is going to be appearing in two scenes. One of them is going to be a funeral scene that a lot of people are thinking is going to be President Ross's funeral after the final fight against Captain America, Falcon, and some other heroes potentially, which could lead Betty Ross into becoming Red She-Hulk. I'm not gonna lie, it does sound kind of cool, but at the same time, I need Red Hulk in this. He's just such a cool character, and I feel like if you literally just have him as a one and done, it's an absolute waste. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what Marvel Studios does with this character. I think he deserves to be in more movies, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon because this movie comes out next summer. So guys, that is it for the video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the leaks, do you think they're true, and who do you think that funeral is for? I'm like 99% sure it is for the president because we don't see Harrison Ford in the set photos of the funeral. I really hope he's not actually dead and he's just faking his death so that he can become Red Hulk full time. But these leaks and set photos and everything have me very, very worried as a massive Red Hulk fan. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest news and rumors regarding Captain America Brave New World. And other than that, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.